Hi, I'm Kuldeep Oberoi, and I'm in the Developer Tools and Emerging Technologies group here at Sun Microsystems. And joining me here today is Kelly O'Hare, an engineer in the Core JDK group. Welcome, Kelly. So tell me a little bit more about what you do at, here at Sun. Um, right now I'm actually involved in the uh, helping with the Open JDK launch and the uh, build process that, uh, that we use to build the JDK, which builds on eight platforms, and four of those are Solaris. And, and uh, how do you use Sun Studio as part of that? Uh, well, Sun Studio's uh, primary in the four Solaris platforms. We build for x86, AMD64, Spark, Spark V9, um, and it's just uh, it's just an integral part of our build. Um, uh, most of the hotspot team actually is the hotspot VM itself is C++, and um, that team is very heavily involved in terms of using DBX and Sun Studio 11. Many of the features within Sun Studio, great. Yes. So you mentioned Open JDK. Can you tell me a little bit more about? Um, is it open sourced? Um, two parts of the Open uh, JDK have now open sourced: the Java C compiler, which is written in Java, and also the Hotspot VM um, is available uh, on the Open JDK site. And the Hotspot is a very, very large, complex C++ application, and again, stresses those compilers uh, pretty severely. So. so, so what are some of the things that are important? I know that, you know, I, I see that VM performance is is important for a lot of users out there. Is this something that you guys spend a lot of time working with? They they monitor the performance pretty severely. Um, it's very important, but it's a it's a very large combination performance equation. It's not just the compilers. It's not the VM is actually generating code too, and and sometimes it's almost more important to the consistency and quality of the compiler um, generating code because it all has to kind of work together and in terms of that performance picture. So, so it sounds like it's not only performance but it's also the quality of the code generated. The quality stability of the code in terms of the uh, being able to rely on on what the compiler is doing. Excellent, excellent. Um, so you, obviously the team has been developing uh, the JDK for many, many years. Um, and if you, as you mentioned, you're using Sun Studio 11. Has it been hard to uh, keep up with the latest Sun Studio version? The, the conversion from Sun Studio 10 to 11 was trivial. Um, I don't think we actually used Sun Studio 9. We, they stayed with Sun Studio 8 for a long time, uh, partially because it was stable and it worked fine. And I think they converted to 10, I think, when we went to the AMD 64 architecture. Uh, but the transitions have not been that difficult. Um, the, there's been some minor glitches, but other than that, it's they don't get too worried when we have to convert to a new version of the compiler. Excellent. So the, the big point is that they don't, they, they don't have to, your team doesn't have to spend a lot of time doing rework when you, when you upgrade your compiler. You're able to spend more yeah. time doing innovation. For the most part, we just do a build with a new compiler. We run it through our performance analysis and, and um, the results are usually pretty consistent. Excellent. You know? So so you also mentioned that so you're using Sun Studio uh, 11 on the Solaris platform, um, but you're building the JDK on other platforms, yeah, uh, such great. as Linux. Uh, with the new version of Sun Studio 12 that's coming out that's fully supporting Linux, is that something the team's looking uh, to, to, to we, use for their Linux builds? I certainly, you know, I, I think the team is probably which might be interesting, one of the most interesting things they would like to do is actually be able to use DBX. And I know they can use DBX on Linux with even GCC built applications, but um, they are heavily um, addicted to, uh, to the quality of, of the debugger. And, and we are looking forward to actually seeing whether we can actually do that transition because it, it would be really nice to have a consistent a compilation environment um, across the platforms. So you could but, use uh, the same development tool for Solaris platforms, correct. same for, for Linux, and it sounds like right. performance and stability and good code generation and being able to upgrade easily from release to release are all important, important facets. All, all important, all uh, important of, factors. Of, of using Sun yeah, Studio. When, when, you're, when, you're, when you're building something for multiple platforms, you know, that consistency has is, is been it's really, really nice. And, and can people build the Open JDK today, the hotspot today, as we were just talking? You should about? be able to. In fact, I was trying this yesterday. Actually, I actually was able to build hotspot um, on Open Ex uh, Solaris Express, Solaris Express which Express actually comes. Edition. It comes with Sun Studio 11 compilers, and I just up uploaded the source there and try to build there, and it, and it builds just fine. So, so, so our developers at home can actually uh, get Solaris Express Developer Edition, comes with Sun Studio 11, they can go to the yeah. site, grab the uh, hotspot code, and build right away. Right. And they can plop that, plop that built VM into a JDK and actually uh, you know, play around and uh, develop or 
change things. <laughs> Excellent. That's great. Which well, is what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time today, Kelly. Oh, no problem. So it sounds like you guys are using Sun Studio um, across the Slayers platform, looking at yes. using it on the Linux platform going forward, and it's, you're pretty happy with it. Yes, we're very pleased with it. Excellent. Well, thank you. That's it for today. It sounds like Sun Studio 11 and the OpenJDK project um, work well together. So if you want more information, go to openjdk.dev.java.net to, to get to the OpenJDK code. And you can always go to Sun Developer Network, developers.sun.com, to get Sun Studio 11 free and unrestricted. Thanks, and that's it for this time. Thank you.